Have you played in an atmosphere like that, Kyrie, in that fourth quarter where the visiting team is making a run and the, the crowd is kind of that loud? Yeah, no, there were uh, probably like three minutes left two or two minutes left, and I had to get my uh, kind of emotions to a, a poised state. Um, you know, we had some many possessions where um, I threw up some kind of wild shots or it was a turnover, it was a foul. Uh, so I just had to, you know, bring the guys and tell them to calm down. We just had to get three solid possessions, uh, offensively and defensively. And down the stretch, I feel like we, we made some big time plays um, with the spacing, understanding where we were, getting a defensive rebound and making sure that uh, it was secured. And uh, we came out this one. Kyrie, when you've got a muscle, when you because you were struggling and shooting before that in the last couple of minutes you turned around. I mean, that's just the tail of the game. I mean, if I'm not shooting it down the stretch, then I don't think I'm really um, living up to what I work uh, every day to, to be able to accomplish. And that's to come down the stretch, make good plays. Um, but it's just my number to be called to to really put an impact on the game down the stretch, then you got to shoot. Okay, you have was, a... was that set up to be a three, or is that just what you took? Uh, that's what I took. I, I down the stretch when you, when you get into possessions like that, and you know, I think it's a one or two point game. You know, the three pointer really gives you just a, a little bit more breathing room, especially when you can go up two um, after they make some some really big plays and crowds into it. Um, you know, you hit one, you know, you're down four, you know, and then you, you end up just uh, trying to just be in the right spot. Um, and I got to my spot and raised up. And like I said, grateful that I made it. How many? I mean, you know, the brotherhood is real for us when uh, we come out of college or, you know, how many years we're removed. Uh, you know, Duke is turning into, uh, you know, one of those programs where we have a lot of talented players coming through and um, they have the talent, you know, they have the, the mental aptitude to be able to transition their game into the league. They get drafted pretty high. I just want to make sure that they understand that I'm here for them, obviously, outside of the competitive field, but you're going to have um, instances in the NBA game where, you know, you see one of your Duke brothers or, you know, someone you went to college with and, you know, just going to ask you some questions. I've been in the league going on my ninth year now, so um, seeing RJ be so young and be so poised and really just play fearlessly, it's, it's um, you know, it's great. You know, coach really prepared him for it and, uh, like I said, I'm gonna see him for you know for a few more years in the league, and uh, just told him just to stay, stay calm, and I'm always here, you know. But obviously, we we obviously want to kick each other's butts on the court, and that's the way it should be. Just have to stay patient with one another, and just build it, you know, step by step. It's just no rush, you know, like 80 games, <laughs> like 80. <laughs> so. You just take them one at a time and don't get too high or too low um, and just really enjoy playing with your brothers out there.